He is known for being a philosopher who made significant contributions to the field of philosophy. He is recognized for his achievements in academia, particularly in the areas of classical studies and natural science. His name is Samuel Alexander. Samuel Alexander, a renowned philosopher, was born into a Jewish family in the bustling city of Sydney, Australia. However, his journey towards intellectual greatness was not without its challenges. Tragically, Samuel's father passed away before he was even born, leaving his mother, Eliza, to navigate life as a single parent. In search of a fresh start, Eliza moved with Samuel to the nearby colony of Victoria, where they settled in the vibrant suburb of St. Kilda. Despite the hardships he faced, Samuel's thirst for knowledge was unquenchable. At a young age, he was enrolled in a private school run by Mr. Atkinson, where he began to develop his intellectual abilities. Recognizing his potential, Samuel was later admitted to Wesley College in Melbourne, under the guidance of headmaster Martin Howie Irving. It was at Wesley College that Samuel's academic prowess truly flourished, and he was forever grateful for the well-rounded education he received. In 1875, Samuel embarked on his higher education journey at the University of Melbourne. He excelled in his studies, consistently achieving top marks in various disciplines. His exceptional performance earned him prestigious scholarships and exhibitions, showcasing his brilliance in Greek, Latin, English, mathematics, and natural science. These early successes would lay the foundation for Samuel Alexander's future as a respected philosopher and thinker. Samuel Alexander, an aspiring scholar, embarked on a journey to England in May 1877. His goal was to secure a scholarship that would pave the way for a promising future. After a long and arduous journey, he arrived in England at the end of August, filled with hope and determination. The decision between Oxford and Cambridge weighed heavily on his mind, but ultimately, he chose Oxford and set his sights on Balliol College. The competition for the scholarship at Balliol College was fierce, with notable names like George Curzon and J. W. MacHale vying for the same opportunity. Despite his tutor's doubts, Samuel Alexander exceeded expectations and secured second place, just behind MacHale. His achievement earned him the coveted scholarship, opening doors to a world of knowledge and possibilities. During his time at Oxford, Samuel Alexander's intellectual prowess shone brightly. He excelled in his studies, achieving a rare feat of obtaining a first class in classical and mathematical moderations. His thirst for knowledge and dedication to his craft led him to another remarkable accomplishment, a first class degree in light ray humaniores, the final examination for his Bachelor of Arts in 1881. Throughout his academic journey, Samuel Alexander was greatly influenced by two remarkable tutors. The first was the philosopher T.H. Green, whose teachings sparked a deep fascination with philosophy in Samuel's mind. The second was Henry Nettleship, a Latinist whose guidance and mentorship left an indelible mark on Samuel's early work. As Samuel Alexander reflected on his journey, he found solace in a profound belief. He once said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. This statement speaks to his unwavering faith in the cyclical nature of life, where opportunities and challenges repeat themselves. It is a reminder that every setback or triumph we encounter is not an isolated incident but part of a greater pattern. Samuel Alexander's early life in England laid the foundation for his future philosophical endeavors. His academic achievements and the influence of his mentors shaped his thinking and set him on a path of intellectual exploration. Little did he know that his ideas would continue to inspire and guide us in our daily lives, urging us to embrace the cycles of existence and find meaning in the recurring patterns we encounter. Samuel Alexander, a prominent philosopher of his time, dedicated his life to the exploration of moral philosophy and psychology. Born in 1859, Alexander's journey in academia and his contributions to the field of philosophy had a profound impact on his students and colleagues. His unconventional style and passion for teaching drew people to him, making him a beloved figure in the academic community. After completing his degree, Alexander became a philosophy tutor at Lincoln College, where he developed a keen interest in psychology, an overlooked subject at the time. In 1887, he won the Green Moral Philosophy Prize for his essay on the advancement of moral philosophy. This essay served as the foundation for his book, Moral Order and Progress, which was published in 1889 and gained recognition with subsequent editions. Over time, Alexander's views evolved, and he considered his book to have become dated. Despite this, his influence continued to grow as he contributed articles to prestigious philosophical journals and became a leading figure at Owens College in Manchester, where he secured a professorship in 1893. Known for his unique teaching methods and distinctive appearance, Alexander's classes were always filled with eager students eager to learn from him. In addition to his academic pursuits, Alexander played a significant role in the life of writer Naomi Michison. 
Acting as her unofficial godfather, he mentored her in her studies and provided her with valuable advice. Mitch Eisen fondly recounted her interactions with Alexander in her autobiographical work, highlighting his impact on her intellectual and literary development. Alexander's intellectual achievements were recognized with honorary degrees from various universities, including St. Andrews, Durham, Liverpool, Oxford, and Cambridge. He was also appointed as the president of the Aristotelian Society and a fellow of the British Academy. In 1915, Alexander was invited to deliver the Gifford Lectures at the University of Glasgow, which he later expanded into his seminal work, Space, Time, and Deity, published in 1920. Samuel Alexander's contributions to philosophy and his unique approach to teaching continue to inspire generations of scholars. His dedication to exploring moral philosophy and psychology reminds us of the importance of understanding ourselves and the world around us. As we navigate the complexities of daily life, Alexander's teachings encourage us to critically examine our beliefs and pursue knowledge with an open mind. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.